Mr. Power Scripts. I'm I'm working on a jingle. It's it's a work in progress. Anyway, we're gonna be looking at a really simple command today. It's the get host command. And I'm gonna run it again. This is all the get host command does. It grabs a bunch of environment information about the host that you're working in. So we have the name here, and this is the ISE host. If you were running this straight from the command line, it would say something like console window. We have the version right here. We have uh, instance ID and some other information. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this is because it shows the version of PowerShell, and that's really important now that PowerShell 3.0 is out. There's three different versions of PowerShell on the market, and there's uh, distinct differences between them. Some commandlets don't work in PowerShell 1 that work in PowerShell 2, and there's a lot of different syntax in PowerShell 3 from PowerShell 2. So all these differences um, can cause problems in your scripts, and you want to have robust scripts. You don't want to have scripts that are going to crap out in one version. So this allows you to figure out which environment you're running in and to run code based on the environment that you're in. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. I have a variable here and I'm using get host and then I'm pipelining get host to the select object to give me the version number and this ver will now contain the version number that I'm looking for and I have these if statements here that say if version is 3 then write host this is PowerShell 3 and then the same for 2 and the same for 1 so let's run this and obviously I'm running PowerShell 3 and we already knew that because uh, we ran get host and that's what it said so now I can put uh, PowerShell code relevant to the proper PowerShell version inside each of these statements and that will safeguard me from uh, having problems with my scripts if somebody tries to run it in an environment that it's not prepared for so that's really the power of the get host commandlet and it's a, a, a good one to know uh, so that's it thanks for watching